the channel. I am Aziza, aka Gourmet Pens. Today we're playing with a pen. And happy Friday. Um, the funny thing about this pen is, okay, first of all, it was initially sent to me on loan. Thank you, Apple Bomb. Um, Apple Bomb's amazing because they keep me supplied with pens that I may or may not like. And in this case, I liked. So, spoiler, I liked it. Okay, so what we have is the Mont Blanc M. It's the red signature. And, uh, I, and again, spoiler alert, um, I got the pen. I actually thought, actually at first I did not like it. And then I slowly fell in love with it. And then I bought it. So <laughs> um, let me show you the pen and let me do a bit of um let me read a bit about the pen to you so the the m is not a new model it was a collaboration an original collaboration with mark newson uh, but the m red is designed to support the red fight to end aids every item purchased from the mont blanc m red writing instrument collection will contribute five euros to the global fund to support hiv aids programs um, so that's the idea behind the pen. The, let's, let's do the packaging. The packaging is quite pretty. It has the, uh, like a debossed, uh, M in it. And it's got the Mont Blanc M red. So if we open it up. <laughs> that was like terrifying smile wasn't it uh it, co it comes with the service guide of course if you are a new pen user i always recommend you flip through it in fact even if you're not just take a look at it sometimes they have things in there that you may have wished you had read before and this is the box it's very plain i really don't mind it one thing i discovered with this box which i didn't know before is if you take this out there's a slot for two on the other side. Amazing. Um, so there. So that is the packaging. Very simple. Um, I don't really have anything to complain about because, okay, I'm just trying to find somewhere to put this so I don't have to throw it across the room. I don't really have anything to complain about because I think the packaging does the job just fine. So now let's look at the pen. The first of all it's quite heavy um it is okay they they describe it mark newson's design perfectly balances form and function in the new mont blanc m collection when his trademark biomorphic style meets the iconic design cues of mont blanc the result is both unique and timeless it's okay so the material is brushed palladium nickel coating and of course the mont blanc logo on the top which I actually think is really cool because it's not flush. It's actually like set in. Uh, let me see if I can show you. Does that make sense? Like it's in the cap, like, like re recessed in the cap. And I think it looks really cool. It's not white. It's brushed. So it stands out more. And we have the clip, which is functional. I don't particularly like clips with a ball at the end unless it's an angled ball. So anyway, that's fine. I would never clip this to something and leave it like that anyway. And we have the butt, which it, the back end is really cool. It has this, I mean, the thing that is iconic about the M is this divot dip. Again, the logo at the back. The cap is magnetic. They do give a, they do post a warning about um, the magnets if you have, if you have a medical situation where you cannot be near magnets, it is something to be aware of. So it doesn't snap really hard and, but I like it, it's not really loud. So if you turn it the wrong way, it will realign itself. I think it's cool. It does not post, which is fine with me. The section has the red resin ring and 
the feed is wicked cool. So I think the feed is awesome. I think that's really fun. And let's look at the pen in my hand. It is heavy. So not in a bad way. It's like solid, feels really good. At first when I got it, I was like, this is gross. I'm not going to like this pen at all. And now it's like a weighted blanket in my hand. It feels so good. I am disgusted by how much I like it. So it is a cartridge converter. I have a cartridge in here right now. It's UNICEF blue, just in case I forget when I'm doing the writing sample. So anyway, it doesn't post. The barrel is quite thick. The cap is quite thick. It doesn't roll beyond the clip, but if you can imagine, um, just don't take the cap off and throw it across your table because the material can scratch and I think I've been really careful with it but over time I think it will pick up my micro, micro scratches and this clear uh, sorry the smooth part up here the polished bit will show fingerprints so there it is what it is I mean all all my plastic pens pick up micro scratches too so here is a selection of pens just to kind of give you an idea. We have a Mont Blanc 149, a 146, a Starwalker, the M. So you can see it's on the smaller side. It's a little smaller than the 146, but I think it's a good full size pen. Uh, the Twisby 580, Lamy Safari. Pilot Metropolitan, Jin Hao, X750, Platinum Preppy, Twisby Eco, and Caveco Sport. And because the clip, oh, sorry, the cap is uh, quite small, the pen does not shrink very much when you uncap it. So I think it's a really nice size, and I am telling you, this thing is crazy comfy in hand. And I know you're going to think I'm insane, but I am, and I really like how it feels in my hand. So again, weighted blanket. Okay, so let me do this. The section, this is sharp, but I am i don't hold it. And because, I don't know, something about the section, like it's like they have slightly texturized the grip or something. It's so comfy. So I'm, I'm just shocked. And I was, this is, oh, sorry, that's my alarm. Hey, Google, cancel the alarm. So, <laughs> maybe that should be a blooper. Anyway, this section is super comfy. It, it doesn't slip. I cannot believe I like this pen this much. So, we have the Mont Blanc M. This is the red um, the nib is an 18 karat gold medium. Let's take a look at the nib a little closer, shall we? So, single slit, round breather hole. All it says is Mont Blanc, but it's really cool because it's in the brackets with the red um, as a superscript. And 18 karat, it is very simple. You know... I don't understand, but I really love the way the snip writes. Okay, so it ha I don't know if you can hear it. Um, let me, maybe not. It has a bit of feedback and I'm not used to that from Mont Blanc. Usually their nibs are smoother um, if it's well-tuned. This one has a really nice feedback. It's like that Aurora Sailor feedback. The ink is Mont Blanc Unicef Blue, which I realize does not match the red, but here we are. Okay, that is literally the first time that has ever happened to me, and I've had this pen for a really long time. I... You know, I used this paper recently for another review, and I had this problem. I'm going to do this. Um, I am going to grab... 
a Mont Blanc notebook. We'll see how it goes. I'm not going to cut this out. Uh, you can you get to see that, but I have written with this, and it's not. Um, it it shouldn't skip. So I'm gonna. I keep pulling my shirt down because I feel like I'm greasing the page. But anyway. Um, There we go. Beautiful nib. I will not apply pressure to it. This, this shape of nib is just not, just don't put pressure on it. Let's do some writing. Excellent ink flow. It's not super wet. It's it's like a five out of ten in wetness. I think quite perfect for a medium. And um Again, so comfortable. It just writes on its own. That's just a free weight test. Uh, I ooh, reverse writing is very sharp, so I would not. I wouldn't expect to do that very often. You can if you want to, but I wouldn't expect to. Easy to clean because it's cartridge converter. It doesn't come with the converter, but you can get the Mont Blanc converters. And I do happen to know that the Caveco piston converters fit in the M. So I have to both thank and curse Applebaum for sending this. I thought I would review it and pass it on to the next reviewer. And I was like, mm, I'm going to have to keep that one. So here we are. Now... Let's take a look at the pen in some more intimate detail and we will come back to wrap up. back to the ending <laughs> uh, of the video with the Mont Blanc M red fountain pen. I, I'm pleasantly surprised and surprised enough that I want it and so I bought it and I'm excited to share it with you because I think it's really fun when a pen surprises you and so this is one of those pens that surprises me and you know it wasn't, it's, it's, uh, it's like 1400 US, like 2000 Canadian. It's not an inexpensive pen. Um, it's definitely pricey. Are the materials worth what the pen is? Probably not. Is there a massive premium? Absolutely. Do I like it? Yeah. So who cares? So I hope you found this fun and useful. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. I mean, I know this will turn into a, a disaster, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on 
the Mont Blanc. M, not Mont Blanc in general. Or you could do that too. I'm just curious, do you own one? Would you ever buy one? Would you be convinced if it felt perfect in your hand, like a weighted blanket for, oh, just all the happiness and joy in the webs of your hand? And would you consider it then? Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. I would, uh-oh, I don't know why I wrote that. I would love it if you would follow me on social media as Gourmet Pens and Gourmet Pens Shop. I am also on Patreon if you want to lend your support. And there's special tiers now with rewards. So, rewards. Okay, I'll shut up now. Thank you again. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Take care. See you next time for the next video where I will do stuff. <clears throat> wow. Ew. Time for me to wrap up. Bye.